body and style. So, you want to know your body type. Well, this is a great place to start because in this video, I'm gonna go through the 10 Kibbe body types and their clothing recommendations. The different features of the body types, their yin yang balance, and what that means for your clothing. First of all, what are body types? In the 1980s, a man called David Kibbe came up with this theory based on body types rather than body shape. So it was an idea based to combat the fruit system. So instead of fighting the unique elements about you, it's about embracing them and honoring them in your clothing. In this video, I will be using Kibbe verified celebrities. Maybe eventually over time, I will introduce some others that aren't verified. The theory is based on yin and yang balance. So at the most yin, you have romantics like Marilyn Monroe, who are very curvy. And at the most yang, you ha have dramatics like Kira Knightley, for example, who are very sharp. So this is the opposition, the opposition of yin and yang, round and sharp, soft, hard, light and dark. So with that said, let's go through each of the 10 body types. Let's start with dramatics. Here are some examples of dramatic celebrities. I will leave the full list in the description in my Patreon Facebook group, which is called Body and Style Society, which is where people who've had consultations from me and Patreon supporters um, all come together and we talk about all things body types, personal style. So I'll leave the full list there if you want to go and take a look. The dominant feature of dramatics is vertical. So they appear very long, very narrow, tall and straight. They are predominantly sharp and they are yang dominant. Dramatics have a long vertical line which means that they look tall. There's no height limit on being a dramatic so you could be five foot and be a dramatic and you could be six foot and be a dramatic. Dramatics are narrow and squarish in the shoulders and they have large limbs. They appear large meaning they appear long and narrow and this applies again just to repeat myself this applies no matter what your weight so give your body types remain the same as you gain weight as you gain muscle um it's more based on your bone structure the way your body gains muscle and the way your body gains fat rather than how fat you are how muscly you are how thin you are um these are just kind of irrelevant to the whole thing Unlike natural types, which are also large boned, dramatics don't have width or bluntness to their silhouette. Sometimes dramatics weight collects in a pear shape, but this isn't always the case. Um, but sometimes if they do gain weight, they're likely to gain it in their hips. When they are thin, dramatics tend to look sinewy um, and lithe rather than very athletic. So the idea of Kibi theory is that you honor your natural yin and yang balance. So dramatics look best in sharp, tailored, structured, long, straight and sleek clothing, clean lines, minimal detail. They look great in low contrast and unbroken lines. Any details or edges look best when they're sharp or pointed. And remember, you're not trying to combat your large bone structure or fight it, you're trying to embrace it. It's very easy to look casual as a dramatic as as soon as anything looks slightly relaxed, it can give a sort of boho effect. Okay, soft dramatic. Soft dramatics are also large boned, just like dramatics. They have narrow shoulders, although this isn't necessarily always the case. Sometimes soft dramatics can look as if they have slightly um, more blunt and wide bones than a pure dramatic would, I have found. They have long limbs, which are very narrow. They have um, a long vertical line, which means that the head is slightly small for the rest of their body. On top of this dramatic and sharp bone structure, they have curves. So they have curve in the chest and hips, and this curve can be generated by the bones, but largely when we say curve, we mean curve that is generated from the flesh. So they will appear quite fleshy in the chest and in the hips. Soft dramatics can also be any height. They can be five foot and they can be six foot. So soft dramatics also look best when they honor their vertical line. They look best in long silhouette, um, but unlike pure dramatics, they don't look quite so good in sharpness, so they look best with softer materials, um, but you should always keep a long sweeping line. Kibi suggests that they look good in a sort of T shape, so that's something to remember for soft dramatics. Um, they look good in lush colours, any yin details are great as long as they're large and bold. Soft dramatics look great in a lot of glamour and a lot of detail as long as it's large and lush. 
Soft dramatics also look good with waist emphasis, which accommodates their curve, but it's not quite in the same way that a romantic would. So this shouldn't have come in the form of a broken line. It should still be um, a continuous pattern all the way throughout and give this long sweeping silhouette. Whereas some other types would look overwhelmed by this much glamour and detail, soft dramatics just look very elegant in this. It's kind of their status quo. It's where they look their most at harmony. As soon as some of the detail goes away, soft dramatics can start to look a little bit boring. Okay, let's talk about naturals. There's no such thing as a pure natural, according to Kibby, because every person is either slightly sharp or slightly soft. To be neither is kind of a nonsensical way of thinking. You can't be neither. But to describe naturals in general, their predominant feature is their width. So they will have breadth in the shoulders and upper back and most of the time in the rib cage as well. So let's start there. Let's start with flamboyant naturals. So like I just said, their dominant feature is width. So this comes from the shoulders, upper back and possibly rib cage. To know if you have width, for example, you would know that you need to accommodate it by going up a size in your jackets, for example, in order to fit your shoulders. They also have a long vertical line, just like dramatic so flamboyant naturals are naturals with a dramatic undercurrent. They are bluntly angular in their features. Flamboyant naturals, um, like dramatics, are also yang dominant. Just like dramatics, flamboyant naturals can be any height, so you can be five foot or you can be six foot to be a flamboyant natural. So flamboyant naturals, like I say, they have this dramatic undercurrent, which means they have an undercurrent of sharpness as well as their bluntness and width. Flamboyant naturals look their best in clothes which honour their width and there's many ways to do this. One of the ways is to wear like off the shoulder and draped things. Flamboyant naturals are first and foremost a natural so accommodating width is challenge number one, accommodating vertical is challenge number two. So another way to accommodate width is through draping and um, loose oversized fabrics but this doesn't necessarily mean always baggy and casual, you can look very chic and elegant and dressed up as a flamboyant natural, in fact it's very easy to do so. It also means when their clothes aren't loose or slightly draped they can look a little restricted. So to accommodate the vertical it's the same things as all the recommendations for dramatic. So long unbroken lines, straight lines. Soft naturals also have width as their dominant feature just like flamboyant naturals so they will have blunt and angular shoulders um, but unlike flamboyant naturals they don't have vertical in their silhouette they have curves so they might have moderate length limbs, they're going to have a slightly shorter vertical line. Soft naturals are never above five foot six, so if you are over that and you have like width as your dominant feature, you're most likely to be a flamboyant natural because everyone over five foot eight, in fact I think everyone over five foot seven automatically has a vertical in their silhouette in one way or another. Um, so soft naturals will also have some curve in the chest, maybe hips, um, but they won't have a double curve, but more on that later. So to dress for a soft natural, again, you want to wear loose, uncontracted sort of clothing, but soft naturals look best with waist emphasis, some moderate sized yin details. So this could be like florals, some shimmer, some sheen. These look best when they're moderately sized on a natural type. And the same kind of things apply for width of what I said about the flamboyant natural. So classics, classics are even and balanced. This means that they're not noticeably sharp or noticeably soft, that they're somewhere in the middle. Dramatic classics will have slightly sharp shoulders, slightly long limbs, possibly a moderate vertical line, leaning either slightly short or slightly tall. Um, it can be either for a dramatic classic. Dramatic classics are never above five or seven. Um, they might have a slightly straight torso. They might have a slight pear shape, for example. They'll just have some elements of pure dramatic, but they are smaller, just slightly more delicate. Dramatic classics look best in simple pieces, clean lines, um, but with some added structure, so with some added yang elements. So for example, a mid, everything mid. <laughs> it's like that TikTok meme which is like mid, 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 mid. That is classics. Um, so mid-rise, mid-length jackets, um, moderate size prints, everything mid, but for a dramatic classic, everything slightly more large, slightly more sharp, slightly more geometric. I am a soft classic, so they have a special place in my heart. Soft classics, they have a moderate vertical line, so they neither look particularly tall nor particularly short. They might have slightly angular or slightly sloped shoulders, moderate and long limbs. So just very everything mid, again, think of that. Um, they will have more curve than a dramatic classic in the chest and hips, um, but it will be, again, very moderate, quite trim, um, 
and nothing overly, overly voluptuous. Soft classic, same principle, everything even and balanced, everything in moderation, um, but with a slight yin lean. So it could be a slight sheen, um, a slight yin detail, so maybe some florals or something, um, just as long as the detail is rounded, uh, maybe a slightly rounded neckline, maybe a slightly flared skirt. Um, waist emphasis is important for soft classics, but not as important as for romantic types. Soft classics are never taller than five foot six. Gamines are never taller than five foot five. They are petite, which means that they have short and narrow limbs. They have short vertical line, which means their head is slightly big for the rest of their body. Um, gamines have a angular bone structure, so they'll have sharp, slightly angular shoulders kind of like a natural type often on gamines so they'll, they'll look kind of like wide but they'll have this petite element to them as well which naturals don't have so that's the, that's the contrast so they're petite and they're little which is their yin and they have an angular bone structure which is their yang flamboyant gamines are slightly sharp they might have slightly more angular shoulders they might have a slightly straight more straight figure they might have um like bonier hips um more prominent bones in the hips and chest Soft gamines will be much more fleshy in the chest and hips. They might have slightly shorter limbs. They can have double curve. Now this concept of double curve I talked about in a TikTok recently, much to everyone's confusion. Um, I'm gonna do a proper video on that, but basically it means boneless curve. So you look like you almost don't have any bones and soft gamines can have this. Clothing recommendations for flamboyant gamines. They look best in short lines, um, straight lines, but they look best in really high contrast and especially geomet geometric prints and patterns. Um, they look best in things which are contrasted between the top and the bottom. So this kind of applies for soft gamines, but everything about patterns and stuff should be very soft. Gamines in general look good with high necklines, kind of like this actually. Um, in fact, this top would be great for a gamine. <laughs> um, just lots of high level of detail, high contrast, high necklines, everything slightly sharp. Um, but soft gamines add some softer elements, so slightly more soft fabrics, more draped fabrics, for example. Let's talk about romantics! Yeah, so romantics in general are the most yin, so they have double curve, absolutely, so that's that sense of boneless curve. Um, they're petite, they're never over five foot five. Theatrical romantics have sharp shoulders and they have um, a dramatic undercurrent to their romantic body so they'll have double curve which means they'll look very boneless but they'll be slightly sharp in the shoulder mostly the yang in a theatrical romantic comes in their shoulders so they'll be really narrow and quite sharp the rest of them will be very soft very rounded pure romantics are also very rounded they have they are completely rounded so they have rounded soft shoulders they'll have little hands and feet um, short limbs short and narrow limbs they'll have curve in the chest and hips and so they'll have double curve which is this boneless curve so everything about them is very soft very fleshy um, no matter what their weight romantics look best in anything with waist emphasis soft fabrics lush fabrics lush details rounded details glitter sheen florals short lines very typically feminine shapes look best on romantics this applies to theatrical romantics too but they look best with some added sharpness that added sleekness to it so i hope all of that made sense i feel like i've been really rushing this because my battery camera is always on the point of dying <laughs> um, if you have any questions please make sure to leave them in the comments and let me know what you would like me to cover next